Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most annoying British celebs. My loneliness is killing me and I. For this list, we'll be looking at controversial UK media personalities and people who are most hated in this country, not including career politicians or royals. Who's your least favourite British celeb? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Jamie Oliver In 2020, popular culinary comedian Uncle Roger reacted to Oliver's attempt at making egg fried rice. So 60% of the schools that actually embrace this yeah. are now back to Turkish. Yeah. He completely lost it when Oliver started putting weird ingredients into his rice, including jam. Definitely a weird move for a professional chef, isn't it? But that's not the only reason why he's disliked in the UK. Oliver also campaigned to end UK's buy one get one free deals for foods high in fat, salt and sugar in an attempt to end childhood obesity. Many called the attempt tone deaf due to the 2022 rise in cost of living which saw the Brits having to spend more money on their standard groceries. I mean sometimes you can be a bit pompous. You really can. Number nine, Terry Christian. But the people well, voted for it. Wait a minute, yeah, but democratically, so you lost. On. They voted what, what, for it, whether they, you like it or they not. They voted for it based on lies. Nowadays, he's considered the most hated man in television. Terry Christian grew to popularity in the 90s with his show, The Word. However, he's also been heavily criticised for his interviewing approach. People also weren't that accepting of his religious show, It's My Life, which further gave Christian an unflattering reputation. Since then, Christian also got involved with politics and was an avid supporter of the UK staying in Europe. However, his argumentative stance didn't sit well with other politicians or the public, and once again, his attitude labelled him as an arrogant loudmouth. Stop right. talking for a second. I'm going to get to the end of this. Don't say anything for 10 seconds. OK. When you ask a question, you listen and you don't say anything. Number eight, Lawrence Fox. Best known for playing DS James Hathaway on ITV drama Lewis, Lawrence Fox made unfortunate headlines over the years. He's been dabbling in music since 2016 and even got a record deal. But people became very annoyed after a video of him singing made everyone doubt his talent. Oh. Oh. He's also shared a number of controversial opinions that made the Actors Union Equity take a stance against him. They called him a disgrace to our industry. Fox insisted that the UK doesn't have a problem with racism, despite the fact that people who experience racism in the country told him it does. Number 7. Katie Price that Doesn't that hurt no, your spine? Not at all. Although she won Celebrity Big Brother in 2015, Price doesn't have a rosy reputation among the general UK crowd. She's in and out of the news almost every month, and usually it's not for good reasons. From alleged abusive messages sent to her former partners, to getting in trouble with the law, prices fail to make a positive impression on the British public. She's had more than a dozen driving offences, which resulted in several driving bans. In 2010, she was even named the most hated woman in Britain. I've got all this to deal with, it's just so much in my head to deal with at the moment. Number 6. Chris Evans no, don't worry, not the American Chris Evans. How about uh, five of my uh, Christmas chocolate balls <laughs> oh in your mouth at once? <laughs> this one is a British presenter who faced bullying allegations at his workplace. But that's not all. When he hosted Top Gear, he didn't seem to impress the British public. He was deemed too shouty and failed to come across as genuine, which was a massive letdown for the show's fans. This was supported by reports of his falling out with Top Gear co-host Matt LeBlanc and being overly controlling. LeBlanc allegedly threatened to quit Top Gear because of Evans' behaviour. Not a good look, Mr Evans. Not a good look. Why do you think you have the right to hijack a BBC microphone to, to make that complaint? Number five, Noel Edmonds. You yeah. said, what you is, said it, yes. is it possible your ill health is caused by your negative attitude? A and question. That's to a man who's got cancer. Yes. Just, if, if anything, it's insensitive. In 2016, Edmonds got diagnosed with prostate cancer, but claimed he cured it with electromagnetism. 
As you can imagine, this didn't sit well with the public. He even promoted an electromagnetic device as a cancer cure and told a man with cancer that his illness was caused by his negative attitude. That moment sparked a lot of outrage. Even the company that made the electromagnetic device had to make a statement against Edmonds. After getting into a spat with him during I'm a Celeb filming in 2018, Holly Willoughby allegedly described Edmonds as patronising and uncomfortable to work with. How are you feeling about being Emperor? Fantastic. Absolutely wonderful and moist. Number four, Piers Morgan. This is complete gastronomic appropriation. Over the years, Piers Morgan's controversial opinions rubbed many people the wrong way. From feuding with British pop group Little Mix to his blatant hatred of Meghan Markle, Morgan often used his talk show Good Morning Britain and Twitter to make outrageous statements. I don't believe a word she says, Meghan Markle. Well, that... More than 50,000 people complained during his Meghan Markle rant, which made Morgan walk out and essentially quit the talk show. In 2021, he was hiring for a new show, but urged, in his words, walk snowflakes to not bother applying. There's definitely no shortage of dramatic spats Morgan has had with various celebrities over the years. Number three, Gemma Collins. Although she's turned herself into an iconic meme, she still managed to rub a lot of people the wrong way. In 2021, Collins was crowned as the most painful reality TV star after researchers identified that her name was often associated with words such as annoying, cringe, and painful. In 2019, she was interviewed by Jonathan Ross and brought her diva antics with her, which didn't impress many of the viewers. I'm not going to back down to anybody. They quickly labelled her as ignorant and rude. Although Collins claimed that GC is a character she portrays, it didn't convince a lot of people, as her diva-like attitude was already shown in The Only Way is Essex. Number two. Katie Hopkins. But I would never lower myself to propose to a man. If he's not going to ask me, frankly, he can chuff off. You thought Katie Hopkins is number one, didn't you? It turns out there's someone the British public dislikes even more than her. But before we move on, let's refresh our memories of why Hopkins gets so much heat from people. From blatant racism to sharing controversial opinions, Hopkins has managed to upset just about anyone. Do and not Max. bring India up again, Philip, Poppy or I will and... sit on your lap. Not to mention that she forms an opinion of people based on their names. Her statements got her officially banned on Twitter and fired from numerous media jobs, but she continues to share her opinions on various platforms. In 2021, she took the title from Katie Price and became the most hated woman in the UK. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. James Corden it's in my James Corden may have gained lots of followers after starting his Carpool Karaoke series, but that doesn't mean he's everyone's cup of tea. Over the years, Corden has been slammed for not showing a lot of talent, but being friendly with celebrities to get exposure. Corden has also been repeatedly brought up in various Reddit threads as the most hated celebrity, with many people saying they dislike his arrogance. During his Ask Me Anything thread on Reddit, Corden was exposed for allegedly being rude to waiting staff and acting aggressive when confronted. In fact, Corden barely answered any questions during that AMA after his behaviour was repeatedly called out. Can I say this? Lean into me again. You smell amazing. How old are you? Uh, thank you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.